Whoa, here we go. This is what we're talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, I call him the used to be rugged one, Gabe Wilder. Woo. He used to be one of my favorite guys. He had a mean streak a mile long. Now he's slapping five. He's kissing babies. He, I don't know what happened to the guy. Well, I mean, the next thing you know, he's going to run for a politician someday. Oh, God. Well, potentially so, but despite the abrupt change in demeanor, this man is going one-on-one -on -one with an individual who he has had a lot of shortcomings against, to be truthful with you gentlemen, that man being Franco D'Angelo. Ah, uh, yes, Franco <laughs> D'Angelo, the leader of the guerrilla militia. It's not a bad thing to have a shortcoming to Franco D'Angelo, all right? This is the silverback. This is the man that beats his chest the hardest. The king of the guerrilla militia, folks. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know about you, Walker, but I mean, have you seen the size of this guy's neck? I have. I, I've seen the size of everything on this man. Franco D'Angelo is an intimidating individual, to say the least. I mean, I, I got to be honest with you. I'm a larger gentleman myself. That can be admitted. And even I dwarf in comparison to the size that is Franco D'Angelo. Look, imagine walking down an alley, right? Imagine that always an alley. And you see one guy come down the hall. Then you see another guy. And they keep getting bigger. I, I don't want a problem. I can tell you one thing. I'm going to make sure I wear my brown pants that day. Come on, man. Justin James. Big set is in the building. Franco, and by the way... They got a new horse. Say it again, big fella. Let me see some. Oh! Oh, oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What's going on around here? Big Sad has no feelings. I love it. Well, gentlemen, the bell has sounded. This match is underway. The rugged Gabe Wilder taking on Franco D'Angelo in the middle of the ring. I tell you, it's a hard thing to go against Franco D'Angelo. This man just continues to come at you every single step of the way, every single time. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh. Big forearm to the chin. And let me tell you something, fellas. I hope everybody was paying attention to the man when he was speaking early. He says he wants some gold. He says it's time for him to take over. He took his time, he built his team, he laid the foundation. I Ooh. think it's gonna be the year of the gorilla around here. Oh! I mean, it, you you very well might have a point there. It very well might be the year of the gorilla. Gabe Wild is going crazy over here. And, and, and one thing to point out, gentlemen, Franco D'Angelo has not placed his sights on any specific <laughs> championship. Oh, he God. very well could be gunning for the Unified Tech Summer Pro World Championship, which will be decided in our main event here tonight as Shane Taylor is going to be taking on Edge Stone. That's still to come. Let, let me tell you something, Walker. Gabe Wilder is not a small man. Okay? No, no. He, he's built like a refrigerator. He launched all his weight with oh all his might at Franco and didn't budge the man. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Just absolutely taking him out to the woodshed. I mean, goodness gracious. Oh, the combo. Oh! What are we doing? What are we doing? Sit right here. Just absolutely. Just come on, whoa, whoa, ref. What are we whoa, doing whoa, here? Whoa, whoa. Is this the first 48 over here now? He just said, hey, bro, I like your lineup. Hey, let me. Oh, okay. You're gritting the beard a little thick. Oh. <laughs> Referee Nicholas Caldwell did not see it. Therefore, this matchup still rolls on. Singles competition. Look at Franco take his time. He paces. He knows what he's doing. He's confident in his methodology. A lot of these young guys, they go in there, they flip, they, they, they're doing everything they can, they're throwing everything they got out there. He takes his time. He works the body part. He's a machine. That's a fantastic point to make here, Deuce. Of course, Franco D'Angelo, the more powerful competitor in this matchup, which is not something that we often say with matches that involve Gabe Wilder on the other end right. of the spectrum. Franco D'Angelo is keeping this at his pace. It's a pace that is going to benefit oh him. Gosh. Look at the power from the big man. He's just picking him up and throwing him around like a rag doll right now. There's a reason why he is the leader of the Gorilla oh, and Militia. Keep your eyes on Justin James oh, in the Justin corner. James. He's giving him a hug, man. It's St. Patrick's Day. So you all right, bro? How many green beers did you have? Maybe I should drive for you. Oh. <laughs> he cares. I swear, these guys, I, they're, they're just absolutely coming in here, taking their time, and, and, and dominating this match. And look at this big set coming <laughs> on here, right here. Come on now. What is going hey, on? It's another hug. He's like, bro, I, I can drive if you don't trust him. He's been drinking too. 
And, and I, I got to keep in mind, that this would be phenomenal strategy if this were a tag team competition. These are the Unified Tech Summer Pro Tag Team Champions. That's simply not the case. Oh, oh my gosh. Franco D'Angelo going for the cover. Two. two. Oh. oh, two. Man. The ease with which he's picking the man up. I'm, I'm telling you, maybe that could that should have been it for Wilder right there. I mean, just kind of, you have to lay to low sometimes and just live to fight another day. How often do you see Gabe Wilder? Picked up off his feet with ease. He's been picked up off his feet, what, four times already? Big man hasn't broke a sweat. I, I got to be honest with you, Deuce. I think most of the times that I've seen Gabe Wilder lifted off of his feet in this capacity, all of which have come from the guerrilla militia themselves here in Texoma Pro. Yes. And you see the trend. <laughs> pull, look at him pull back on that neck. Look at the arms on Franco. Imagine that kind of straight pulling back on your neck over the knee. He's and sadistic. I, oh, but look at that. Gabe Wilder with a little oh. bit of a little bit of offense coming now that oh. coming in there, cold cocking him. Let's go. Come on, Gabe. He's rocking big Franco. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. He's firing back up here, gentlemen. Gabe Wilder off the ropes now. Oh. Colliding with a brick wall. Oh! Oh, and he's down to a knee. He's down to an absolute knee. Come on, Gabe. Let's go here, yeah, buddy. you got to take advantage of this opportunity when you have it to the middle rope. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. He got a little too frisky. Oh, my He got so frisky. Gracious. Whoa! The veteran. The veteran. He's not jumping around, is he? He uh. said, I'm big. I ain't jumping with you, young boy. I'm going to oh, beat look, you down. Look at his. Look at this. Oh, oh wait a Tyler minute. came out. <laughs> Corey Wright. Corey Wright. That son of a gun. Man. Hey. And, and, of course, Tony Snow coming in. <laughs> this has Tony Snow's fingerprints all over it. Well, I don't know what you mean. Once again, you're snitching. You got a wire on you now. Look at this. Oh, look, look at, at this. the gorilla. Look at Corey. I mean, I, I already could have called the sanctity of this matchup into question with the Grow Militia approaching ringside. And now Tony Snow and Kari Wright sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Wait a minute, wait a minute. As He's as giving them oh. some merch. He gave him the Snowman EMT sticker. My kids love those, by the way. Thank you, Tony. I found a couple oh. of those in the dumpster, actually, believe it or not, the other day. Up and down into the cover. One, two, two, three. three. And that's it. Wow. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. I mean, you got to give credit where credit is due. Strength in numbers as it is here in the Gorilla Militia. And Franco D'Angelo, of course, coming out on top over I think I over think they're helping Rick Tyler over there. He had a couple too many green beers. You know what I mean? He got some ideas that weren't too smart. Oh, look at that. Look at, come on. Look at oh, that. But, oh, oh, <laughs> come on, Tyler. Big Rook set Tyler. throwing the anvil in his face. Gentlemen, I'm incredibly fearful of the future <laughs> that Texoma Pro sees in this awakening of the Gorilla Militia. Now, a, a fourth member has been added in BD Brawley. <laughs> the landscape has completely changed at the Elks Lodge Arena. The alpha of Texoma has made a decision, folks. He wants go. Are you going to tell him no? I mean, no. Uh -uh. I didn't think so. No, I, I'm I not. So. Oh, what, 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 are, what do these animals have in mind now? <laughs> I mean, you literally just saw them swarming around, just circling around like a, they, not gorillas, but like a pack of sharks. <laughs> now they're throwing in Rook Tyler here. No, 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 no. This guy said he was from Detroit, all right? I'm from that part of town. This is, oh, oh my goodness gracious. One thing you learn in Detroit, you don't run up on a man that size with nothing in your hands. <laughs> the jungle is open for business. Monkeys stay in the trees. The gorillas are eating. 